We're gonna give you the float still. We're gonna let you run home right now. Waba Fett, have your time. How many retreat caught? There's <laughs> three retreats, says it right there. You uh that's enough. 150 damage. Finish off this Layla. Get me my two prize card. And basically he's just He probably I don't know, looks like looks like a fairly good deck. Except Well. Hello Nagos and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hey, and on day's menu, I'll be serving you Wobbuffet from Burning Shadows, which can one-shot you know, the biggest GX Pokemons, especially the biggest GX Pokemon. Yeah, that's a unique attack unlike any other. So, you may be saying too much. I'm going to explain to you how that actually works, and you're going to see it in three. Three what? Yeah, three win matches, just like that Wobbuffet up there. So. Let's get started. Today's intro is Limit Break X Survivor, Dragon Ball Super. Which you gotta find in the, <laughs> gotta get the next episode this Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check it out. Follow. Actually, let's talk about Wobbuffet now. Wobbuffet. Let me talk about you. You're very easy to talk about. You're not a GX Pokemon that has like three attacks, like Espy out of here. You just only have one in a set of hit points. Basic. Not a GX, but you have one twenty hit points. Is this good? Badam Master here. He's like, I got 120 hit points too. We're all the same. We're on uh you pass. You pass inspection. However, this is very low. It will get one shot the minute it goes out. Or it can get Guzma out too, which really, really limits its use. Now the problem is yeah, the bigger problem is that it, its energy cost is big. Look at this. Three psychic energies. Yeah. However, it does have the chance to one shot. Three energies, the bigger your opponent is, the harder they fall. It's kind of like a gravity attack from Final Fantasy. Uh, I think we should stop the, the analogy right there. Yeah, bigger hit points, bigger dip. Anyways, anyways, for every retreat cost in your enemies, active Pokemon's retreat cost, it does 50 damage each. So Wobbuffet here is three retreat costs. Three times five, 50, 150 damage. Assuming he didn't have weakness, it would one-shot itself. How about uh -oh, something like Espeon? Espeon's one retreat costs even less, so it only does 50 damage. You see, there's just a lot of variance, so we gotta find some way to increase the damage. The baseline damage. So, we have the new Alola Dug Surfer Dudes. Yeah, the Alola Surfer Dudes, who, uh, they like to hitch a ride on your enemy's Pokemon. See, your enemy has to pay another retreat cost when they want to go home, because these alone dudes are like, hey, can you give us a ride home? And that's how it works. So, every Alolan Duck Trio, how many do we have here? We just have two. We just have two Alolan Duck Trio adds one to two retreat costs, depending on how many you have. But wait, there's more. We also have a stadium called Mount Lanikala, which is very cold there. There's snow. So uh, I guess the snow falls on top. It should make shit heavier, but it only affects basic Pokemons. However, when it exists, you do more damage. 50 more damage. So that's hey, potentially 150 that's base or something with no retreat cost that's also basic would take 150 damage theoretically. But now, with two Alolan Duck Trios, you still have some trouble... Actually, yeah, you still have some trouble getting this guy, so... He is still hard to scale. Some Pokemon just have more retreat costs than others, some have less. Like, this is, my deck's quite light. Other than Wobbuffet. Alright, so how do we deal with the energy costs? Because investing three energies to get it one-shot KO is bad. And so why it's not being played. So we're going to do our best to fix it up. We're going to use Max Elixirs. Look at next six card. Find a Psychic Energy. Drop onto a Bench Wobbuffet. Thing. We cannot afford to take three turns. Let's reduce it to two. Maybe even one. And once your Wobbuffet goes down, if it's holding a Wish Baton, you get to keep all those energies, move it to another Wobbuffet or any of your other Pokemons. So really, you need this. Hopefully it doesn't get two removed or something like that. Otherwise... Yeah, yeah, you're a very tough uh, card to play with. So, we're using a lot of help, a lot of extra help to make this 120 hit point cards work. So, something else that you also need is a fast Pokemon. And we are using Espeon GX as the Wingman design. What? Where's Ratman? Ha, huh, Donald? Whoa! I needed something a little bit more powerful. 
200 hit points of hotness. 30 damage with confusion sacking. The more energies they have, the more damage it does. And it scales quite nicely, too. You can one-shot other basic GX Pokemon with this. Divide GX, hunt down those baby Pokemons on the bench line when they're young. That sounds kind of weird. Mean, mean, mean. So, yep. This guy is going to carry Wobbuffet. If we can get Wobbuffet up, Wobbuffet will just come into battle. Kind of similar to a uh, Tapu Koko Electivire deck. So, this is it. Any other special tech that you want to talk about? Nope. I think you understand. We have techs making a retreat cost heavier for our opponent. And we're going to see how hard we can hit with this Wobbuffet. Here we go. Here comes the matches. Let's get started. Welcome to the very first Wobbuffet match. Yeah, I'm feeling very confident right now. Sarcasm. Yes. Let's get started. I'm gonna play my hero. No, I'm not playing here with my hero. I'm playing my remix of Battle Against a True Hero, which is Undyne's theme song from Undertale. All right. Wow, we're starting. Actually, starting with Bridget. Oh man, that is good news. Good news. Okay, then we need Wobbuffet. We probably need Banana Master as well. You want two Diglets or one Wobble Fence? Okay. Yeah, let's get another Wobble Fence out there too. One Diglet's okay for now. All right, get everybody up. And this will cause my Diglet to evolve. I'm sorry, not my Diglet, my uh, Wild Sword Arc. If I fill up my bench, that could be bad. Yeah, so I may not want to do that anymore after this. All right, so we can go ahead and we could Ultra Ball, but I can't really don't want to throw another Pokemon on the bench. That'd be for next turn. All right, confusion. So Bridget is playing into his hands. He does. I don't think you're gonna. Yeah, you're, even if I fill up my bench. Oh man, their retreat's pretty low. Very, very low. So Wobbuffet may not. Uh, uh, it's not worth it. Three energies for one of these things is totally, totally not worth it. So Guzma, bring that out. It looks like you're stuck. And bring a Zora Arc out too if you use the confusion. So Moonlight Madness. I better just hope that I get uh, something in my own. Okay. If I'm gonna have to lose a big DCE, unfortunately, but that's okay. We could use to evolve one of our Diglets, uh, evolve. Yeah, it's gonna have a lot of retreat. The only problem is that who cares? He has infinite retreat, easy retreat. So the, the 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 extra, yeah, the extra stuff isn't gonna help much. So no, Banana Master, don't pull out more cards with that. Perfect, perfect. Do we want to fill up our bench? Not really, not really. Even the car, yeah, you can get the Diglet, Donald. Yeah, I could. I could fill up my bench too, but right now I guess we're already beyond the point, so whatever, right? Whatever. We're at the po point of no return at this point. That's what I want to say. So I'll go ahead and fill up my bench to maximum, unless I really want to unevolve some Pokemons. Alright, come down, Diglett. I made my decision. Here we go. We could use Divide GX, but I think Psychic is enough to finish it off. So here we go. Psychic is one uh, one prize card. We have resistance against soon. I fill up my bench, which he's pretty happy about. So I mean, I'd be happy about that. Wobbuffet. We uh, well, I guess you're the next. You have to be the next in line. All right. So Professor Kukui, it is a full bench. Maybe he can get Zorark with a DCE up. I definitely use my GX attack to snipe this off right now if he decides to hide that. So he does that. Okay, so he decides to hide that. I'm getting a lot of easy turns this turn. I like that. I like that. So I don't need anything at all. I'm good. We are we're gonna use divide GX, of course. And you can put damage counters however you like. One, make sure I knock this out first. There we go. He's just waiting to set up. What else can take this? I think we've got to finish this lately off someday, right? Yeah, so I'll leave that little... I don't have enough to knock the other one out, unfortunately, so... There we go, Machine Gun Espion carrying me at the start while Wobbuffet eventually comes back. Now it's going to be really hard to retreat this, because we have one Diglett out. Yeah, one Diglett. We don't have Mount Lightning Collar, otherwise this, this will go... Actually, you don't need retreat. Uh-oh, first Zorark is down! Full bench is completely full. There's Zorark break too, but the setup is slow. Which is good for me, because I'm going to need that. Banana Master is the real MVP. Perhaps. He didn't do too much. Yeah, I'm, well, uh, like, you could have had bananas, but Sycamore was here to uh, to uh, mess with me, so I couldn't uh, get the bananas out. 
All right, Sycamore, he's like, finally, I am unstuck. Let's get started. Welcome to the very first Wobbuffet match. Yeah. I'm feeling very confident right now. Sarcasm. Yes. Let's get started. I'm going to play my hero. No, I'm not playing here with my hero. I'm playing my remix of Battle Against a True Hero, which is Undyne's theme song from Undertale. All right. Wow, we're starting actually starting with Bridget. Oh, man. That is good news. Good news. Okay, then we need Wobble Fett. We probably need Banana Master as well. You want two Diglets or one Wobble Fett's okay? Yeah, let's get another Wobble Fett out there, too. One Diglet's okay for now. All right. Get everybody up. And this will cause my Diglet to evolve. I'm sorry, not my Diglet, my uh, Wild Zora arc. If I fill up my bench, that could be bad. Yeah, so I may not want to do that anymore after this. All right, so we can go ahead and we could Ultra Ball, but I can't really don't want to throw another Pokemon on the bench. That'd be for next turn. All right, Confusion. So Bridget is playing into his hands. He does. I don't think you're gonna. Yeah, you're, even if I fill up my bench. Oh man, their retreat's pretty low. Very, very low. So, Wobbuffet may not, uh, uh, it's not worth it. Three energies for one of these things is totally, totally not worth it. So, Guzma, bring that out. This looks like you're stuck. And bring a Zora Arc out, too, if you use the Confusion. So, Moonlight Madness. I better just hope that I get, uh, something of my own. Okay. If I, I'm gonna have to lose a big DCE, unfortunately. But that's okay. We can use to evolve one of our Diglets, uh, evolve. Yeah, it's gonna have a lot of retreat. The only problem is that, who cares? He has infinite retreat, easy retreat. So, the, 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 the extra, yeah, the extra stuff isn't gonna help much. So, no, Banana Master, don't pull out more cards with that. Perfect. Perfect. Do we want to fill up our bench? Not really. Not really. Even the car, yeah, you can get the Diglet, Donald. Yeah, I could. I could fill up my bench too, but right now I guess we're already beyond the point, so whatever, right? Whatever. We're at the po point of no return at this point. That's what I want to say. So I'll go ahead and fill up my bench to maximum, unless I really want to unevolve some Pokemons. Alright, come down, Diglett. I made my decision. Here we go. We can use Divide GX, but I think Psychic is enough to finish it off. So here we go. Psychic is one uh, one prize card. We have resistance against two, and I fill up my bench, which he's pretty happy about. So I mean, I'd be happy about that. Wobbuffet, we are. Uh, well, I guess you're the next. You have to be the next in line. All right. So Professor Kukui it is a full bench. Maybe he can get Zorark with a DCE up. I definitely use my GX attack to snipe this off right now if he decides to hide that. So he does that. Okay, so he decides to hide that. I'm getting a lot of easy turns this turn. I like that. I like that. So I don't need anything at all. I'm good. We are we're gonna use divide GX, of course. And you can put damage counters however you like. One, make sure I knock this out first. There we go. He's just waiting to set up. What else can take this? I think we've got to finish this Lele off someday, right? Yeah, so I'll leave that little... I don't have enough to knock the other one out, unfortunately, so... There we go, Machine Gun Espion carrying me at the start while Wobbuffet eventually comes back. Now it's going to be really hard to retreat this, because we have one Diglett out. Yeah, one Diglett. We don't have Mount Lightning Kala, otherwise this, this will go... Actually, you don't need retreat. Uh-oh, first Zorark is down! Full bench is completely full. There's Zorark break too, but the setup is slow. Which is good for me, because I'm going to need that. Banana Master's the real MVP. Perhaps. He didn't do too much here. I'm, well, uh, he's like, you could have had bananas, but Sycamore was here to uh, to uh, mess with me, so I couldn't uh, get the bananas out. All right, Sycamore. He's like, finally, I am unstuck. He had to just lose two Zor Zoruas and two Zor Art breaks. So that stinks, and that's not a DC, so I get a lot of free attacks. A lot of free attacks. Yeah, the Espeon's carrying me very, very hard this, this early. So, oh, good. Thank you. But while it's like, I, it's my show. I need to help out. He's like, you do need to help out. Active Pokemon's uh, retreat cost. He's putting, uh, are, are you putting these back into your hand or are you just shuffling them back? It looks like they're going back into his deck, following up with a Sycamore. There we go. Free retreat, Altar of the Moon. Uh, yeah, yeah. That means you don't need a Float Stone to get your combo out. All those babies are balanced. Like, we're here for revenge for you, uh, Espeon. 
Floatstone, who's who are you gonna send out? Another Lele. Alright, so we can't do anything about that, unfortunately. So what does Dara want to do? Increase power, power up the Wobbuffet, unfortunately. I don't really want to end. I have everything in my one in my hand right already. I guess I'll go ahead and play this right now. I likely cannot fight with another Espeon. We'll see. I do have a super ride in case I want to do something uh, else, but let's go ahead and get another low Duck Trio out of my deck so I don't draw it. This will be unnecessary. And we could play this right now too to get back our Wobbuffet right now, but I'm not sure. Hey guys, it just came to the screen. What is this deck from Revolve Round? Hopefully Wobbuffet. So Wobbuffet can't attack just yet. And uh, I need a better hand. I don't want to just draw, draw. No, actually I'm going to give him more cards. I don't want to do that. Let's just go ahead and use a straight Psychic Attack. Which does very little damage. Yeah, it takes three shots to get that. Unfortunately, but hey, we'll have to. We'll get it later. We'll get it later once our Guzma comes out. So we're gonna need some wish batons or something pretty soon. So at this point, this frees him up to an attack. Yeah, Zor Arc Sycamore. He's finally free. He's gonna get his revenge pretty soon. So I have a full bench. He does maximum damage, 160, but not enough, probably not enough, I don't know, he didn't. He has to use Kukui or something, something magical to get the one shot. And if I take down the Zora arc with one, with uh, Psyching, they should be good. I should be okay. Alright, another free turn for me, great! Alright, this Wobba Fed is fully loaded up, I'm gonna go ahead and play this right now, which it fails, unfortunately. And we want these cards back, you know, it's use it or lose it, so I will use it. I'm not gonna lose it, I'm just gonna get it back later. So, let's go ahead and get Banana Master, see what you can get me. What do I want? I want my Wish Batons, I want more energies. Alright, you can, uh, you already have six cards. This is probably helping you out since you look like you're stuck. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, I got another energy right here. I could go home. I could go home, hit this, and finish this off right now. That's, that's, yeah. I could. I could. Should I? This means Wobbuffet's gonna die. Still, I don't have a Wish Baton this. I really want a Wish Baton to keep up my energies because it's gonna take forever to get this thing loaded up. However, if I'm fighting a Zorak, I shouldn't be able to finish it off quite easily. So, you know what? We're gonna give you the float still. We're gonna let you run home right now. Wobbuffet, have your time. How many retreat caught? There's <laughs> three retreats, says it right there. You, uh, that's enough. 150 damage. Finish off this Layla, get me my two prize card, and basically he's just, he probably, I don't know, looks like, looks like a fairly good deck, except now Layla comes out, it's like, well, it's a little too late, it's a little too slow start for this guy, so, perfect. Save Espeon for Zorark break, I don't know about that, uh oh, this Zorark shows up, he's like, I don't have any energies, it's okay, I got a DCE, I can smash this Wobba Fen, this is why you need the Wish Baton, which I was, Thinking about saving up for it, but nah. Oh, two cards. He gets the maximum card pools. I get two. It's okay. I've really got. Have... There's the wish baton. There's the wish baton. I guess Wobble Fed or Eevee is my next Pokemon. Both can be do that. So he's like, yeah, a full bench. Pretty much, uh, yeah, well, yeah, okay. You're gonna leave it right there? Oh, that's just game. All I just gotta do is let's use the full power. There we go. Yeah, that, that's game. Wish Baton. What the? Oh, it has a float stone. It has a float stone. Dang. I should not have thrown. Oh. Oh. And with the float stone, it's zero damage. Zero retreat. That's right. Uh oh. I thought it was game. I had to remove that. I, oh. Whoa. I should have got. I did. Totally forgot. Guzma's out the big card. Uh oh. Brings out Zorax like you messed up, Donald. You messed up. Woo! Okay, Floatstone puts it to zero. I was like, dang, I, I, I was gonna finish it off that Lele off like the other one. So, Mind Jack, I am still alive. It looks like he's charging that up to fight. Of course, I really should have thrown the Eevee down, but I messed, uh, I messed up. You know I messed up. So with the okay. These are not the cards I want, so I'll go ahead and shuffle and give you more cards because I need the card. I need certain cards. That is the card I want. That's a card I really, really want. No, not really, not really. I'm still missing some stuff. So we are gonna use Psychic. I think Psychic does enough. Even with the resistance. It does 60 plus 30 more. Yeah, it does. Blast that away. 
So, there we go. He knows the Lele. I do zero damage because of the Lele. It does nothing. But however, I believe that I have enough to win if this gets me a Guzma. So, Wobbuffet, hey, you got what you wanted. This carry, this... You are MVP, man. You are MVP. Once again, thanks, Doctor. Ah, thanks. Thank you, Doctor, for explaining, uh, explaining. So, he knows that my Wobbuffet is completely, uh, weak. It is completely weak because of that. Uh-oh, removing, uh, the Wish Baton and the Float Stone, which is gonna be critical. So, yep. And he's gonna finish off my SPI. It's like, yes, this thing is imperfectly immortal. So, luckily, man, this is, yeah, he... he this looks like a good build. It's just one of those days where you uh, get stuck. So Zorak is out. Espeon has carried me through five prize cards worth of Pokemon. And unless I'm able to remove this item, or I could just Goosema card out, uh, that's it. So if I'm expecting the Goosema, I should send out Banana Master. And this should be game. This should be game, okay? Goosema. Banana Master. There we go. All the Guzmas in the back of the deck. Hey, Guzma. All right. Pull out something with a big retreat. You don't look like you have free retreat. So let's go ahead and send you out. Bring out a Wobbuffet with Lonnie Collins. Unfortunately, doesn't apply. But okay. It's got a lot of... It's got enough retreat for 180 damage. We got it. We got it. Pretty good for our first match. Pretty, uh... Thank you for carrying me, Espeon. One more prize card. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Okay. Thank you for the follow, Phoenix. MVP? Yeah, you got five prize cards from me against that Zorahark. Woo! Uh, welcome to another Wobbuffet batch, and I'm playing against Dragon, who is always on my Discord. Yeah. Yeah, so, hi, Dragon. Here we go. Here's to you. Thank you, uh, thank you for being on the Ferrantus. Such a long time, so... Alright, I'm gonna hit done right here. Now it's a friend game as well. It's like, we're not rushing you. You don't have to throw the coin out. Apparently I'm very slow. Oh, there's Sushi Master. Sushi Master's a... Well, I haven't been in your deck. Let's get started. I'm gonna play my remix of Krua Angel's Thesis. Oh, she's playing her favorite Lycan Rock. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it all along. All right, I know that's her favorite Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and throw this out here. And we need to fill up our bench. Hey, thank you, video game, for bringing me the card I need. Now I'm gonna fill up my bench to insane levels, so maybe I should not do that. The number that she needs to kill me is actually three, so let's go ahead and actually put something we need. That, and Banana Master. Banana Master is not here! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Now I give her the chance to GX me. That would be bad too. I'm not sure what I want to do at this point. I'm limiting myself. I could go all in, but I, I don't want her GX attack to kill me. So, yeah, there's always a, there's always a silver lining. What, what are you gonna do, Donald? What are you going to do? Just let her kill me. I don't know how know how that's a good idea, but I'll do it. Here we go. I'm past the limit. I decide to go past the limit, and we can even get another card too if we really want to. But that needs to be for Lele because I'm feeling stuckish. So let's go ahead and add this on right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Psychic. But then I'm uh, Sushi Master's like, oh, what? You're gonna kill me off the bat? No. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if Dragon is able to retreat and evolve this to the certain Lycan Rock, then well, we're dead. And like Sushi Master is like, don't worry, he may go down, but I will finish the job. Delinquent! Uh-oh! Ooh! Took me out! She took out my hand! That's not good. I don't have a draw supporter, so that's okay. We lost a Diglet, which we uh, Doug Trio. Okay. And we got another Doug Trio right there. And she's everybody's stuck right now. I'll take a prize card. I have freed uh, I have freed her, so this is bad. If she does all she needs is energy and uh, something, then we're dead. Now all the wolf is like, oh, you missed me last game? Yeah. Yeah. Now I kind of need something else to get me a draw. And then nothing in my hand was allowed to do that. All the dogs are here. One GX attack is going to be enough to finish me off. So we're both kind of struggling on the draws right now. All the energies to use to GX. All right. Whew. 
I don't know if this way I can live. Sushi Master is unfortunately taking out uh, the hit for, uh, for, uh... Yeah, okay, you know what, I'm not sure, I'm thinking Dragon may GX one of these guys, so at least one Espeon will survive for the, you know, for the counterattack. So, let's go ahead and do this. We're both stuck, everybody's stuck today. And yeah, Dal, do you watch Rick and Morty? I I've seen some episodes, uh, but, uh, they kinda... They're kinda not my type. Uh-oh, there's her Lele, there's her Lele, Carbink! Or Lycan Rock can come out too. Lele! Hey, we're both Dragon, you wanna you wanna free both of us? Or uh-oh. She got the first she got the first straw supporter. Actually she does have she did have a lily. It's gonna be sick more. It's like, nope. No, you stay stuck. Dang it! Did these hold oh, the Wow, three DCs of the four DCs you have for your deck. Three of them are out. Ooh, thinning the deck out correctly. I'm like, hey man. Can you guys have some cards like that too? If Sushi Master evolves, like, time to get cooking. Oh, you're full. You know, you don't have any refrigerator space for my food. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not doing supporter battles right now. Lycan Rock is up. The Bloodthirsty Wolf is up. We have Wobble Fence, but we have no energy to charge these guys up. There it is. Ah, it's out. Ah, what was that? It was like a bug crawling on me, but it was just uh, my cord came in. Got scared. Hammer time. Switch. GX attack, one shot kill, two shot on my uh, like it on my uh, cards. Oh, they are. Banana Master was prized up. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, I need my card pulls, Dragon. I need my first draw support. I need my Lele. I just get another Dicklet. Well. Probably the next card. Believe in the heart of cards. I'll believe in the heart of the cards. Yu-Gi-Oh! Next card, draw. He's like, no, you won this last time. So, I confuse it. Hopefully, she does not have an easy retreat. Otherwise, I would take half my life. Or, uh, otherwise, it's a clear-headed, it's a clear-headed Lycan Rock. You know what does campaign? It's retreat cost. It's retreat cost actually three. So, Claw Slash, you gonna go for it. It's clear-headed. It goes through 140. Oh, give me a card pull. Thank you. So, let's, we finally get our draws supported. Now, all the draws here. I actually need a DC, and I don't, I'm, I'm a little, not a little, yeah, I'm kind of afraid of uh, charging that up right now. Alright, I guess I can load this up, but I'd rather just get a DC. If you survive another turn, great, because you can't attack this turn. Alright, we are gonna use Side Beam, take that! Ah. Alright, Burner. Lycan Rock, 60 damage. Hope you're not clear it, because two prize cards, I'm gonna be way behind with this. There's no other attacker. One Espion was GX'd away, so. Yeah, if your luck could be pretty bad. Judge, I wish I could judge. I'm looking for my DC right now. Guzma, clear it up, brings out the Wobbuffet. Uh-oh, if there's a Lycan Rock gonna pull this out. Uh, yeah. Everybody's charged up. Now that my DC, my, my draw support is here a little too late, I don't have another attacker after this. Maybe I could have used uh, Psychic to really hurt this really badly, but. Nothing there. Ouch. There it goes. There goes my uh, Espeon. Alright, I got two prize cards left. Those were the Espeons. They all both came out front. I have this right here. I have Sycamore, so I'm gonna need a Max Elixir to get them going. A Max Elixir and something else as well. Alright, Diglett, I think you have to stay up there, buddy. I've got nothing else for you. How many hit points do they, these things have? 60, so I could use the evolution spread to hit that, but I'm not ready to fight at the moment. No, might as well. Might as well. Might as well. Put that down there. Retreat. Get me one prize guard. Try to catch up a little bit. I don't want to lose the game with uh, that many... Pr oh, and she also gets a... She'll be able to evolve again. That's not good. Oh, if I could just GX my attack. If I could get a GX uh, around and... I could knock these out, so yeah, I took a prize card. Yes, sort of, sort of catching up. Now it can evolve and hit me pretty hard, which is bad. But yeah, I can't really do anything about that. I just got a slow start. What's your retreat cost right now? One. Now it's two. So that with three, uh, it needs to be four retreat costs. So this Doug Trio, this Alolan uh, Dicklet has to come out. Ooh, gonna take this out before it has a chance to fight. 
I don't have a chance to fight this. Oh, but I get to keep the energies to another Wobble Fett. Well, and even Espeon. Espeon doesn't have enough to fight. Wobble Fett, you have a chance to fight. Yeah. All right. Who's gonna come out? Probably the Lolan Duck Trio. She has too many cards. One more prize cards away from winning. Oh. All right. I need the energy right here, Maddie. That's an energy. You can fight now. I probably need to finish off the threat here with me, so... I don't have another Duck Trio. They're all prized and discarded. They're all prized and discarded. This means I'm not able to get a one-shot. I'm not able to get a one-shot. Show me the play, Matt. That looks like game. I can get one more prize card just for the fun of it. I think I'm gonna do that. That looks like game. I, uh, I unfortunately got a little bit more stuck. And let's see, how many Lone Duck Trios? One there, the other one is prized up. Would you like to search your deck for a supporter? All right, this is how I'm gonna end the game in style. What else would you do end the game with? Wawa Fett, you can have one more, one more to go. All right, uh, you can't finish this up because this retreat costs three and only does 150 damage. If there was another Duck Trio not prized up, it'd be okay. So, I'm gonna get one prize card. I'm gonna get one prize card. Who would I wanna take out? Let's just take you out for, for fun. Can I take you out? 150? No, I can only do 150 right now. Even with that Duck Trio, so here we go. Take out our Lycan Rock. All right, here we go. Wobba Fett, take this out. Boom! I took three prize cards off Dragon! Ha! I'm so, I feel good now. Alright, that's it. That's game. Well played. Yep. Well played. Woo! What, no, what's your favorite deck in the format? I don't have, really have one right now. I haven't made up my mind. I like, I like a variety. Good game, Dragon! Wobbuffet was MVP anyways! It was MVP! Good for you, Wobbuffet! So be careful what you wish for. You want all the wolf it there? Yeah, they'll be all there. Okay, so. Hey, did, yeah, did the most damage. Alright. And that is that. <laughs> the game is really rushing me, but dang, four mulligans? Well, I don't have a draw supporter, so I'll say yes. He gets to go first, though. Okay. You're using, uh, I saw this in July. There's also some Glissopod in here, which looks like you're gonna end away my... Okay, and I still don't have a draw supporter, but let's get the let's get started. All right, time uh time to get started. I'm gonna play my remix of Date Start from Undertale's again. A dine. This is when you date a skeleton or or or, or a mermaid. I think she's she's not quite a mermaid. She's like a fish woman, your waifu in Undertale's. Let's get started. Gotta dance to it. Lele Lele is like oh wow, you have a lot of cards. Nope, oh, I get to keep my cards, and I'm gonna open up with Bridget. So, Wimp Out! It's his first turn, he can Wimp Out if he likes to. So this is where we can spam the evolution all day if he tries to start evolving, with, especially with Rare Candy, so... That would slow him down. Floatstone! You gotta retreat and send out the Banana Master? I think that's a smart move. Yeah, Banana Master makes Wall of Fit damage goes to zero. He's like, I'm gonna fight too, I'm gonna beat up this Espeon. Or Espeon could beat you up. We'll see. I pulls extra cards down. You didn't want to charge up your uh, back line? It's like, nope. Nope. We're going to beat the Espeon up. Okay, so. I've got this right here. I can get a... If I activate this, it won't actually trigger the Eevee. This is a tough one. I also need a retreat option. Thank you, Pokemon. Two Mount Lanikalas. Do I want my La Mount Lanikalas? I, I have too many of them in my hand right now. I need a Lele. I need better draw cards pulls. There we go. Miss Lele, why don't you come out right now? And what do we want? We can spam the de-evolution, but we, can, uh, we don't have to. Let's go ahead and thin my deck out. Nah, let's go ahead and activate this right here. Yeah, I get a basic energy. Good. This won't trigger the effect, but that's okay. Throw down Mount Lanikala. Play this right here. Let me check if I have another Espeon. 
because I would like to sick more. I don't want to give you my. I do have another Espeon, so we're good. We should just sick more this hand away. Yeah, Lucis. But I get a much better hand. All right, so I'll go ahead in my turn right there. Oh, there it is. There's Espeon. So I could super rot all these back, which is okay. You know what? Why not? Why not? So basically, super rot is just a means to an end. All right, I will end my turn run right there. There's a vulnerable Espeon out. About Lonnie Column, you know, he has free retreat. He doesn't care. Returning this for me is going to be a little tough. However, I can probably Guzma something out and use my GX attack, hunt down one of these little babies. He has the GX Glissopod. Ah, I see. No, you should do Legacy decks. I don't have any, uh, uh I don't have, I can't play Legacy decks. I don't have any in either of my accounts. So, fortunately, we didn't get, well, we didn't get our Espeon. Now we actually need the Espeon card to fight. Uh-oh, those are coming out now. So I can de-evolution stop these from evolving. I could do that. That would be cool, wouldn't it? And Galissapod. Oh yeah, free retreat. Hits us pretty hard. Ow. What does Donald want to do? Donald can't uh, do anything right now. Donald could use evolution. I can't retreat it. I, yeah, I can. I can, but I, nothing good was really ready to attack. I have 40 damage worth. Thank you, Pokemon. You know what? I'll have to force evolution like this. This is a waste of energy. It is a waste of energy, but Espeon is ready and going. I saved the evolution for another day. There's no space for Wobbuffet, is there? <sighs> Looks like, oh, sorry, Wobbuffet. You're just, uh, you didn't show up to the party, so this is what I've been forced to do. I've got no choice. Now, if, gotta, if I want to save my Espeon, I gotta bring it back, so. Can also do 120 again, which sucks. But I don't want those things to go online. Thanks, Pokemon. I can, can't finish that off. Maybe I'll just take a prize card. I'll just take a prize card. Pokemon's really rushing you now. Man, man. I'm just one thinking, man. All right, I'll take a prize card. Take that. Banana Master is like, hey, you auto triggered my uh, Galissapod. That will suck. Yep, yep. 120 damage, two shot on me. What do I want to do to get value out of that? Uh-oh, three! Three energies! Are you going to use your GX or your regular attack? We'll see. Nobody has ready to fight you deck. Oh, except uh, Espeon. So, we might not even get to see the... Well, this is pretty heavy. So, maybe, uh, maybe... When you show up, that's good. It's just that Wobbuffet just hasn't shown up through all the card pools. Hold on, everybody else showed up before he did. When are you doing your next subscriber battle? I'm thinking about it. Later this week. Mount Lonnie kind of has been removed. It doesn't affect, it really doesn't, man, that, this stadium kind of sucks. It doesn't affect any, most of the Pokemons that I care about. So, Sycamore. How do I get value out of this card? I don't know. I don't know. He can get this guy, this guy, goose by my Espeon out, and I'm in trouble. And he gets free damage to this once it shows up. Timer ball. Uh-oh. It's here. Gonna go get two prize cards off here, and I'm gonna get blown up. No! Okay. This game's not over yet, but... I'm feeling the burn right now. I'm feeling the burn. Feather Arrow is like, hey, you got a weak Espeon? Nope, you're going for this guy, so he can GX attack and kill me. One shot kill me, yuck! Yuck! One shot KO is big. Dang. It's working. And setting Banana Master out. So I gotta remove that. For, 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 remove these float stones. They're killing me. I got my own Banana Master trick too. He's got a float stone as well. So only all the Pokemon can fight is this guy. He can retreat, hit Banana Master. I guess I'll put this to you. I got nothing else, man. I've got nothing else. You got a lot of cards. Let's go ahead and shrink you down. Wobbuffet, you want to show up to the party? He's like, nope, I don't want to. I mean, you're not, you can have this party for yourself. Oh. All right, we got to remove these. Yeah, you're the attacker. Let's stop him from retreating. If I want to attack this turn, which I do, I have to sacrifice these two cards for Espeon right now. Yep, Espeon is up. His retreat cost looks atrocious, and I get a full card full with this. 
So, where's Wobbuffet, by the way? Wobbuffet would be do great damage against this if it actually shows up. Wobbuffet is like, no. No. I, I don't care if it's my deck video or not. I'm not showing up. I'm not showing up at all. So, go ahead and send this out. We could Psychic this or we could Divide GX and uh, get some damage out there. You know how many things hit points these things have? You know, this thing's loaded up, so I could probably use SP on GX to finish it off. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Banana Master, you look relatively important, so I'll go ahead and hit you with this. There we go, three damage counters on you. And my turn, and we'll see if he has Guzma. If he's got Guzma, the card that the only card that can finish that is right there. So I'm in trouble right now. He, he used the most of his float stone, so I don't know if he has another. Well, yeah, you can Guzma. You can Guzma retreat out. Hey, Wobbuffet, where are you? I mean, you could do a lot of damage to these guys here, but we'll see. He's making blue eyes, white dragons next. Ah, uh, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. I wish I could uh, use their decided. Hey, dog, can you make a drop a GX Gengar creep show deck with Po Town? I think I wouldn't uh, use Drumpa GX, would I? Are you talking about next next uh, next expansion? Potan would kill me. You know, Drumpa Potan with anything works. But you would use uh, Tapu Coco like that, that the certain video. Daddy Donald, hi, Spiritual Equinox. He's gonna slap my SP on a bit. He's gonna Guzma out the Banana Master. Wow, he wants Banana Master because he thinks it's gonna get me stuck, but Espeon is what I want. I want to SB on this. First impression? You could have got the two prize cards at this. But he's like, nope. Alrighty then. Well, I gotta deal with the threat right now. I gotta de evolution you. And this is gonna give him two prize card. Hey, Wobbuffet, where are you? Where am I gonna see my first Wobbuffet? Now I will see my first Wobbuffet. Okay, since I expect to lose this card, why not give it to uh, why not give this to you? Duck Trio, why not? Float stones. Here we go, Duck Trio. I don't know. I might put Lele out too. Alright, Miraculous Shrine! Undo the evolutions! Galissapod should sink now! You forgot about that, probably. Probably. So all of those get unevolved. And the thing I get a prize card because it gets a KO. So now he's 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 winning pretty big time, uh, big time on prize cards. And I'm gonna have uh well, Lele comes out, it's got a free retreat. Hey Wawa fan, why are you showing away this this this, this late, man? All right, evolves everything up, gets free 20 damage. I gotta, you know, this card's gonna go down eventually. And I have Guzma, so I can uh, try to hunt a card down, but I don't really have two-shot potential with anything at all. Yes, yeah. <sighs> it's gonna take forever. All the max elixirs were supposed to help out uh, Wobbuffet, but it's uh, probably just gonna get one energy. Maybe Lele can fight as a backup. N, alright, N, N, N. Man, I wish I could sub so I can battle Donald. You know, Dragon, you, you're a sub to me. Or yeah, you've been here for a very long time. Very, very, very long time, Dragon, so I know you. Uh, I'll play you, uh... I'll play you soon. Alright. He's gonna hunt for the Espeon, because he knows if he gets Espeon, he wins. And so, goodbye, Espeon, baby. That's uh, that's it. I don't have any free ways to deal with that now. So the energy goes on to... Wobbuffet. Yeah, Wobbuffet. You would do so good right now if you actually had energies to fight. But you don't have energies to fight. I better take all the float stones so you can't use any of those tricks as easily again. You got so many cards in your hand, so you know what? Maybe I'll do this. I want my Wobbuffet up right now. It's late, but dang. Come on, Wobbuffet. Give me an energy card to load this baby up. Okay, thank you, Pokemon. That's not good. I mean, if I want to fight, I better have to. I can confusion it. It can't do that much damage right now to me, so let's go ahead and attack this right now. Do the most damage you can. 90 damage, not two shot potential, but his ways to retreat uh, is limited. Wobbuffet, where are you? Where's the energies? Uh, some are there, but uh, two more energies to get this going. And if Espeon dies, that's everything. I lose everything. I need four prize cards still. Sycamore, looks like he had uh, uh, everything to counter this up, but. Alright. Ah. Uh, 
We're just late to the party, guys. Sycamore bring my card counts really, really low. So I'm a little scared of that. I wish I could end because he has got so uh, so many cards in his hand. Dalnis has earned his badge from Dragon. That's true. Well, that's true. All right, how are you gonna get me? Floatstone? Oh, I had a way to retreat that. So if he got another Galissapod ready, boom. Ah, uh, that, that, that decision will finish me off soon. Oh, okay, gonna send out Lele. Lele with a DCE is also good too. Means I gotta go home. Yeah, hopefully I won't get blasted too hard. He just needs one more prize card. Yeah, that's a little getting weak right there. All right. I got a Wish Baton, though. Got a Wish Baton. I guess it could go to you. Hey, there's no there's no room to fight with another Wobbuffet left. I want to see what else is in my deck. You only have... You don't have... I don't even have enough energies to fight with Wobbuffet. So I got to fight with what I have right now. So I got to end the game quickly. That's two prize cards. I need it. Okay, you're my backup fighter. There's no way a Wobbuffet can fight at this point. That sucks. Of course it does. Blasted. <sighs> Unless I draw an e there probably is an energy of my prize guard. Alright, another Galissopod's coming up. It's vulnerable if he has a retreat option. His retreat is extraordinarily high. It's three right now, so he can't retreat it. And I was like, oh, these diglets! What are these diglets doing? I know. These diglets are doing their job, that's what they're doing. They're doing their job. So he can hit up to 150, which stinks. Yeah. He's weakening it up. Right now, I don't think I'll deck out before he will. I can force the Guzma to bring some cards out, but nothing hits 120 right now. Nothing hits for 120. I know I don't have enough energies. If I free him, it's over. I think it's over for me, guys. Thanks, Pokemon. Put the energy on you. How am I gonna get two, that many prize cards that quickly? I can only do 40 damage to these things. Thanks, Pokemon. You might actually attack me, so I'll go ahead and confuse you. He might put an energy here and decides to finish me off that way. So I better confuse it right there. And probably fight with the uh, Lele of it uh, eventually. So Espeon's getting out of there. I man, I wish well Wobbuffet was late to the, really late to the party. All three of them were at the back of the deck, and I think he's, uh, should have put out the Coco. He'll be around. He's like, okay, be back and get prize cards this way. Guzma! Oh, easy prize cards. Yep, he found he found the card he needed. Well played. All right, I can't say well played back. That's all. That's all, folks. Don't worry about me. Thanks. All right, moving on. Moving on. Now sometimes it just goes that way. MVP? Yeah, SBI. Wish well, she had a choice ban. Uh, she had some choice bans to get that extra bonus damage. I might do that since all the wish batons is not a. Uh... Yeah, it's good for Wobble Feather if he doesn't show up. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on, moving on. Get another DC and Psychic. Well, if you're listening to this, you reach the end. That is so thank you. Congratulations. Here's how we rate this sack. Uh, let's break it down. All right. Wobble Fed. what's your new trait? That is your retreat scaling attack. Yeah, there are. there's not quite anything like it or that scales this dramatically. So, Wobble Pit, you're one of that kind, that aspect. Now, moving on, damage. How is the damage of this deck? For Wobble Pit, there's a lot of variants. However, there's a one-shot potential somewhere here. The bigger the Pokemon, the bigger it hits. Glissopod. I really wanted to hit that one, but not, the, not this time around. So, it, there is a chance of a one-shot. We're going to give it a four. Is it one-shotting at all, everything all the time? No, that would be a five. For it is, it does have you know, it's two shots for most of the for most of Pokemon's main fighters like Espeon included. So moving on, setup. How easy is the setup? We're gonna give it a three. 
This is padding this deck a lot. Lava Fish is coming out whenever I can get it up. So, uh, you know, it could upgrade for a 4, but really? You're spending a lot of energies on something squishy, something easy to, to kill with a Guzma. So that is why Wawa Fence like, ah. If only it costs one energy less, it would be much more. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> it would be more playable because it's just um, that retreat cost thing. Every Pokemon has such a different retreat cost. Now, payoff! That's what I want to talk about. Every Pokemon has a different retreat cost. You can go get something with three, you can go send something with one. Yeah, so maybe you may get a one shot, maybe not. Often the stronger they are, they do have more retreat costs, but it's just not guaranteed. The Gardevoir only has two, so if you want to one shot her, you need. Actually, you can't. You need another Lolan Duck Trio, three Lolan Duck Trio, so it's expensive to make the Swabble Fit work. He's taking up bench space due to Snug Trio. He's taking lots of energies. He's too expensive. And this attack was one energy to probably, uh, you know, probably be better. Yeah. Well, he mi well, they missed it this time, so I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Nope. It's just too expensive. Not only an energy cost, but bench space. Yeah. Upgrades. This is just for fun. This is for your enjoyment. You saw how it actually works out. Don't do it. Go with Gyarados. Maybe even tomorrow's deck. I think that's for fun. By the way, what is tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do. All right, the last of the major cards I want to do from Burning Shadows. Slow King. That deck is gonna have zero energies, and it's gonna be awesome. So. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. Please like, subscribe, because you know you want to see more Pokemon videos like this. Follow me on social media. I'll clue you in when new things are happening. Remixes can be found on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. They'll be there. New ones coming out uh, this November. So thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you next time for Slow King at 9 in the morning. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.